Oh my goodness, welcome to Southampton. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to Travel Blog Jamie. It's pre-cruise eve. Woohoo! I'm gonna do my cruise dance, gonna do my cruise dance. Now you know me, I quite like spending a night in smelly old Southampton prior to embarking a ship and tonight is no different my loves. And in fact it's been many many years since I've stayed in this particular, I'm looking at, I'm looking at you, this particular hotel and I always vowed to not come back. Oh my god what am I doing? I mean all in the name of research and making sure you are in the know. Let me reveal where I'm staying tonight in smelly old Southampton. Oh yes it's the Ibis budget. Oh that looks um well budget. Sorry, the last time I stayed here, I got a really bad night's sleep because the mattresses were about that thick. Uh, it was noisy, it didn't feel very clean to me. Um, and now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why did I come back? Because you've got to try things again. You've got to give things time. It can't always be bad, can it? Let's hope I don't eat my words. Right, in we go. First thing I noticed, um, some people smoking dope. <laughs> Some good news, the cruise terminal I'm sailing from tomorrow is Horizon, it's just over there, it's about a 10 minute walk. Also the car park here, uh, plenty of spaces and only £10 for the day and night. Okay, let's go in, I don't know why I'm whispering, I'm scared. Okay, so you've got reception just here on the right and there is a small, I was going to say canteen, dining area. This is where you can actually have uh, a breakfast. And I can see that they've got space over here where they put some of the food in the morning. They've got a slushy machine, helps yourself to water. Don't know how long that's been there. Um, hot pizza 24 seven, I think it's about six pounds, six pound 50. You've got a selection of drinks here, soft drinks, and also um, alcoholic beverages. Oh, I might have to get one of those in a minute for the room. And there are snacks over here, like you've got crisps and chocolate, etc. There's also a luggage store here, uh, toilets that way. Oh, look how cute that is. Just the one lift here and you need to swipe your card to access it. I'm so scared. Look at this look, fancy a brew, uh, 10 pound deposit. If you want a kettle in your room. Oh no, here we go. Oh my goodness, it's really green and then it's really blue and gray. Oh God, what have I done? Not the cleanest. I have to be honest with you. And there's just this smell of like dope. <laughs> wow, that lift is very intuitive to the point that it dropped me off <laughs> on the second floor. Um, wrong floor, number three for me. Let's continue the journey by the staircase. Oh, that smells a bit weird. Oh, it's like someone's tried to sort of spray over the top of something not very pleasant. You know what I mean by that? Oh, I want to get out of this staircase quickly. And we made it. Three, two, one is what I need. Oh, it's still green and then blue and then gray. Um, these carpets are a bit grim. There we are, my loves. Oh, look at that. What is that on the wall? I don't think I want to know, actually. Three, two, one. At least it's easy to remember. Oh, look who it is. Right. Let's do this. At least it says no smoking. Oh, God, that's a heavy door. Come in. All right. Um, oh gosh, where to start? Um, <laughs> I've never lost the words. I mean, nice accents are green. Shall we start with that? Have a look. Well, welcome. Uh, kind of like hospital flooring, old school flooring. I don't want to look down there. It looks a little bit stained. Um, I don't mind the bedroom area actually it's it's okay uh with the accents of green look it's real grass on the wall it really is um it kind of just lifts everything a, a tiny amount come on jamie get yourself together let's do a proper tour and review for everyone <laughs> right so we have a shelf there you go that's a positive isn't it uh to the right hand side of the bed and you can also operate all the lights from just above your head now i think actually that's very convenient so thank you 
IBIS budget. Uh, the other side of the bed, we've got another shelf. Hallelujah. No sockets, no USB ports. Uh, we'll hunt those down later. And just over here in the corner, you've got your wardrobe. Um, otherwise known as a little pole and a few hangers. Let's be honest, you're not going to be staying here very long, are you? I don't actually know that I'm going to stay in here very much tonight at the moment. <laughs> there's nowhere to store your luggage, so I popped it in the corner. Um, whilst there's room under the bed, certainly for some bags, uh, it's not actually big enough for my case. My case is not actually that big, so uh, any small bags... Ooh, we've all got a small bag in our life, haven't we? Just throw them under the bed. Anything larger in the corner. Well, we have a window and I'm going to assume it opens. Ah, oh, it does. Oh, there you go. Help me, please help. Sorry, someone's going to be like looking up thinking, oh my God, save the man, save the man. Uh, oh no, I don't want to touch that. That just looks a little bit mm, manky. Let's have a look at the beautiful view. Oh, there you go. It's the Novotel I wish I'd booked. <laughs> uh, main road here, all the cruise terminals along here. Uh, so in terms of location, it's very good. Also, the railway station is literally just through that gap and across the road. So only five minutes to that and only five minutes to the coach station. Now then, let me show you probably the world's saddest television. Uh, from the bed is teeny weeny tiny. I mean, it's tinier than me and I'm tiny. Oh, look, we've got a little shelf here. Is this room gorgeous? Hashtag gorgeous? I don't think so. Um, we've got a beautiful shelf here. I've got to do a live later on YouTube. I hope the Wi-Fi holds out. Um, what is this? Oh, it's like a plastic, it's a plastic stool. Um, oh, it seems to have burns on it. Uh, I might have to cover that with something. I'll wash my hands in a second. Plastic stool, fabulous. And a fan. Gosh, aren't we winning here, folks? We really are. You know I love my angles, so let's just pan around. Observe the beauty of the room. Oh, wait till you see the toilet in a minute. Uh, this ledge is kind of hanging off, I think. Look, creaky. Oh, don't touch that, Jamie. Oh, we've got a near floor to ceiling mirror. Uh, three quarters of the way up. Fabulous. Look, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to make this as positive as I can. It's a budget hotel, although, might I add, it doesn't actually come at budget costs. I've got to be honest with you. We'll talk about that later. And look at this fabulous sink basin, plastic aroma. Uh, it's clean. Oh, there's a hair that might be mine. I'm sure that's mine. I think it's clean, so that's okay. Oh, and look, we've got some beautiful, I'm a green cup cups. I'm um, not sure what I'll be using those for. Dry it, sm oh, wash it, dry it, smash it. Hair, body and hands wash. Oh God, I wonder what that smells like. Shall we see? Uh, let's have a sniff. <sighs> kind of like uh, citrusy. Uh, not too bad actually. Oh, that doesn't look very nice, does <laughs> Oh, and would you look at that? A shaver only point. Now let's be honest, even some cruise ships, modern day age, don't have a shaving point in the bathroom. So aren't we lucky? There is a shelf right under the sink basin as well. Don't look in there, folks. Just don't do it. Oh, and a trash can, fantastic. Directly to the right, we have our shower. Um, you're gonna fit mm, two and a bit people in here. Oh, is that some more of the... Oh no, this is rock your body this time. Oh God, let's get rocking in the shower, eh? Uh, it's not a monsoon kind of affair. Uh, oh no, don't touch that, stop touching. Uh, I'm sure it's fabulous. But the pièce de... <coughs> but the pièce de résistance has to be the toilet. Let's have a look. Tucked around this corner, right by the main door, is indeed the loo. Here it is. Look, a separate toilet. That's actually a good thing in my in my book. It's just a shame it looks a little bit like a, uh, a prison cell. And I'm also a little bit concerned about what's behind that. Uh, is this indeed a haunted toilet? Hmm, we'll be okay with it, we will. And just above the main door is actually an AC unit, which is working. That has to be applauded. And there you go, that is an Ibis budget room. Couple of hooks here, I should have mentioned that earlier. Let's have one more walkthrough. What do you think? 
I had to pay £87 for the luxury of coming here. It is cheaper than the other rooms in uh, Southampton tonight. There's no doubt about it. But blimey, isn't that a lot of money for a budget room? Not so gorgeous. And it's not poor Matthew. I know he's not on this trip with me, but it's not poor Matthew. He's probably quite relieved he's not here. <laughs> Now then, if we need any assistance, we must contact the friendly reception team. Uh, one of them was indeed very friendly. The other one was literally growling at me when I took my camera out. I wasn't filming her, but she wasn't very happy that I was filming the premises. Sorry, lady. If you would like an iron, ironing board, hairdryer, kettle, you can request them at reception with your £10 deposit. They clearly don't trust people staying here. One thing I am pleased about is how reception is obviously open 24-7 uh, for your snacks and your drinks. Looks like you're going to be paying anywhere between £1 uh, for crisps, Pringles, chocolate bars, uh, up to £6.50 look for pizza. I don't know that I'm going to eat here. I've got to be honest with you folks. Alrighty, well, some good news. The mattress is definitely thicker than it used to be. It used to be like that. You could literally feel the boards beneath you. This is uh, an improvement, so hopefully I'm going to sleep okay. Oh, by the way, the only sockets are these UK sockets behind the fan. So you've got two there in total in the room. Pillows, they're okay. I don't mind my pillows a little bit firmer. Now then, my loves, I won't have you saying that I'm a snob. I'm not a snob. I just find cleanliness to be super important if I'm staying away for the night. I'm sure you agree with that. Uh, is this for me? Not really, no. Um, it just, uh, I just don't feel very comfortable here. That's it. I know you're not going to have any sympathy for me. I know that. I'm going on a cruise for goodness sake. Uh, it's going to be all right, but I think I'm going to try and go out later for dinner. Actually, come with me. Where will we end up? Let's do this together. Go on, let's make a night of it. Might even go to a bar. But before the food and drink, it's time to go live. It's Monday Night Live with Travel Blog Jamie. Look, 8 p.m. It shows you I've got to go live. Please, for the love of God, please, I this budget. I'll give you a much better review if the Wi-Fi holds out for this. <laughs> Okay, and there's your answer. I've got these people waiting for me to go live and it ain't happening. It's just not working. So now I'm really annoyed. The Wi-Fi here must be awful. Oh my goodness, she looks a lot better in the dark. <laughs> Listen, you've got a McDonald's right behind, a TGI as well, Ikea there. Uh, you're not far from the town centre with all the shops and bars and restaurants either. I am going to head to, believe it or not, the Novotel. They've got quite a nice bar in there. Definitely a massive improvement on the Ibis budget bar. Ah, that's much better. Cheers to a savvy blonde. It's a nice one, actually. Mmm, crisp, cool, and c c c c cultured. I was hoping for some nice spicy nuts, but he's only got crackers, bless him. Just a tad more comfy in here, folks. Well, the time has come for you to lip sync for your... Oh no, sorry, wrong show. The time has come to go to sleep. <laughs> Gonna be a long day tomorrow, folks, joining MSC Virtuosa for my four-night cruise. Um, I'm hoping to get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna let you know in the morning, as I always do, how it went. Uh, but like I said earlier, this seems much more comfy than my previous day, so that's a bonus. Um, but I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> I'm not staying here again. Right, love to you all, good night. Let's see how we get on with this sleepy bye. Good morning, everybody. Not a bad night's sleep. I'll be honest with you, and that's probably the most important thing, isn't it? When you stay in over in a hotel, uh, apart from cleanliness and um, and feeling comfortable and not feeling like someone's going to break in at any second, those things are kind of important as well, aren't they? <laughs> now then, I'm not going downstairs for breakfast. It's a continental affair, but you can keep your continentals. Honestly, uh, no idea how much it costs because there's no pricing anywhere for it. Um, I'm sure it's delicious, 
but I'd rather go to Mackie D's and have a, a dirty breakfast burger, if I'm honest with you, my loves. Anywho, there we go. That's my stay at the Ibis Budget Southampton pre-cruise. Will I be back? Oh, let me think about, no. It's just not for me. I'm really sorry if you like this place and you're offended. Please don't be, it's just my opinion. Um, I'd rather just stay home, to be honest with you, than come here. Uh, it just, just doesn't feel very nice to me at all. Sorry. Sorry, Ibis Budget. I do like the normal Ibis product though, and the suite rooms are fabulous. I'll go to one of those next time. Anyway, time for a cruise. Time to have a shower. Time to get ready. Let's do this. Thank you all for your continued support. Today's shout outs go to my patrons. You can become a member at patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow travel blog Jamie on X, threads, Instagram, Patreon and YouTube. <laughs>